Hi there, welcome to the Rethink the Net tutorial series. This tutorial is to help you make a start on Twitter in under 10 minutes. We'll be going through the basics from setting up your user account to following people and posting your first tweet. All you need is your computer with internet access and some basic knowledge of how to use the web and email. So let's have a go. First, type in www.twitter.com in your address bar and that'll take you to Twitter's website to sign up. If you're a new user, click on the yellow sign up bar at the bottom and you've already got an account, then just enter your username and password at this stage. Okay, so if you're a new user, they'll ask you to enter your first and last name, and here we're using a fictional character called Alex Webbit. Then they'll ask you to enter your email address and a password, which has to be at least six characters. If you want a little more security, throw in a number in there. And pick a username. Um, in this case, you need to pick something without a space, um, and don't worry about it. If you're stressed uh, about that, you can always change it later. And we're going to unclick the keep me signed in on this computer in case anybody else is going to use this computer later. So terms and conditions and create my account and you're ready to go. And that brings you to Twitter's uh, first page um, to start setting up your profile. But at some point during this process, you are going to receive an email from Twitter, which will ask you to confirm your account. So when you get this email, just click on that link in the body of the email and you're ready to go. And then you can go back to Twitter and you'll see here that Twitter will prompt you um, with a number of suggestions to follow people and so on. At this stage, since what we really want to do now is just get you going, I would suggest we just skip these steps. So skip, see who's there. Skip this step and um, also find people you know. We'll do that later. At this point where it says add character, here we can upload a photo. So pick a photo, even a cartoon, pick, pick a cartoon character, whatever you like. In this case, we've picked a logo and click choose to upload. Make sure it's under 700K and Twitter should display that for you very soon. There we go. And now time to add a bio. So in this case, maybe um, let's say Alex is interested in recipes. So we're going to say something about um, how this is the Twitter account where um, I share my favorite recipes. And you'll see it, it tells you you have 160 characters um, and it tells you you've used up 62. So you know approximately um, how much you can say there. But in this case, I think we'll just be very short and sweet. And we'll say this is where I share my favorite recipes. Voila. And then you click done. And there you have it. And this will take you to your a main page, which is telling you that you don't have any tweets to read, which is quite obvious because we haven't followed anyone. Click on your um, home and you'll get to right here where you have no tweets and you're again being reminded you haven't tweeted yet, but we'll do that. And it'll, it'll also show you um, your profile. So to tweet, click on this little blue button on the top right and start writing. What shall we write about? Um, yes, something to do with um, a risotto. That sounds good. So tweet uh, your first tweet here. So again, you have 140 characters. And in this particular case, it'll count down for you as you see. And we've got plenty there, so let's just go ahead and tweet that. Now it doesn't appear, but in order to get it to appear, you either refresh your page or you click on tweets. And there it is, that's your first tweet. Now, if we're a bit nervous and we don't want to say that, we didn't like this tweet, don't worry, we can delete it just by clicking delete there. And there you go and your tweet has been deleted. So now you'll notice that it isn't appearing there at all. So what we'll do now is actually before tweeting, let's get to know a little bit how we can use Twitter. So um, here it says zero following and zero followers. So let's now see how we can actually get people to follow because that's the whole point of Twitter. Who can we follow and who can follow us? So to do that, let's click on connect the top left, the at symbol there. And when we click on that, you'll see um, that it will give you a number of options here, as in who to follow. But let's instead do a search for recipes. So under recipes, it gives you options for uh, different Twitter users, or Twitter feeds, if you like. For example, the Food and Wine magazine, the Whole Foods Market, Food Network. Yeah, that sounds like pretty much good. So, so let's check out the Food and Wine magazine. The tweets look interesting. Vegetarian gl grilling, creative hot dogs. Let's follow them. And you do that just by clicking follow. And now when you go back to home, you'll notice that in your home feed, you'll have all of Food and Wine magazine's tweets. Now, of course, we don't just want to follow one, one organization or, or one Twitter user. 
we might want to follow more. But here already it says that you are following one user. So let's go back to home again. And at this point, what we can do is um, click on who to follow because we want to add more people. And these don't look so interesting, so let's go to view all. And under view all, you'll be able to browse the ones that they suggest, but also categories. And that might make it easier for you because you have a very specific interest, say recipes. So here you'll see a bunch of different interests, entertainment, Twitter, funny, fashion, family, technology, and food and drink. That sounds about right. So 67 suggestions here from Twitter. Let's click on that. And so what we have here is a list that they're suggesting, including Jamie Oliver, Rachel Ray. Again, the Whole Foods Market appears, Paula Dean. The way now to, to do this is to click on the people that you think are interesting. We think Jamie Oliver is interesting. Oh, and look, there's Food and Wine magazine. We're already following them. So Twitter has told us that by, by the, following, uh, the blue following um, bar. Let's follow the Food Network chef, De Laurentiis, and perhaps Foodista. That sounds good. Okay, so now we've been f we're following a number of people. On the right-hand side of each one of these, you can also have the option to tweet to them directly or to block them or report them. And that's usually you do that in, in situations in which you have um, spam or advertisers that you do not wish to follow you. But I think Jamie, Jamie Oliver's is cool. So let's, let's go back to um, home now and see our tweets. So here you will see, instead of before where you saw only Food & Wine magazine, now you see all of the different Twitter users that you've decided to follow. Jamie Oliver's there, Foodista's there, but something you also notice are people that you haven't followed. So how did they get there? That's because they were retweeted by one of the users that you followed. So in this case, Jamie Oliver retweeted this message. Um, and you can do the same thing. You can retweet what you find is interesting, and that will then be part of the feeds of the people that follow you. Now, we don't have any followers yet, but that'll come. So let's say, for example, Food & Wine magazine. This is interesting. So, hmm, vegetarian grilling. I like that. Let's say I've already checked out the link and I really like it. So let's retweet. So that actually now becomes your first tweet, in fact. And you can see that it's retweeted by this little green arrow on the top right of that particular tweet. Now let's go back to your tweets. And you can see here that you've retweeted. But I'm thinking that now that we're a bit more familiar with Twitter, let's actually compose our first tweet. Remember, we deleted the one we did earlier. And to do that, you just click on the top right there on the blue button. So what should we tweet about? Well, we can stick to the vegetarian food theme. Um, say something about making healthy meals is not too difficult. And let's make the tweet a bit longer this time. Two whole sentences. Remember, you've got 140 characters. Uh, sometimes it's longer and sometimes it's shorter than you think, but Twitter will let you know uh, how many characters you have left. So here you see we've got 12 characters to spare. So then you just click on tweet, and then that becomes your first original tweet rather than a retweet. You'll get familiar with these terms uh, with time. So let's refresh here. In general, you can get to the page, this page here, that lists all of your tweets, not the tweets of those you follow, by clicking on tweets at the top right of the page. So you'll see now that you have two tweets, the original one and one retweet. It also says two tweets at the top. Now, another way to connect with people is to look at common interests. And to do that, Twitter uses what they call, well, uses a hashtag. And you can go here under Discover, Click on that, and you can then enter topics of interest. Now, in this particular case, it's recipes, but it could be anything else like technology or gadgets. And hashtag recipes will give you all the tweets in which people have actually used the term recipes with a hashtag, which means that it's something that they're interested in. And this is a way for people to get to know common interests with others. So here's one from Eco Salon. It talks about healthy alternatives. Sounds very good. Let's retweet that, as we learned how to do that before and you've retweeted it. So, so doing that is also very interesting. For example, you might even enter um, hashtag vegetarian or, or something like that in the future. And that's about it. Hopefully this gave you a good introduction to get you started on Twitter. Thanks so much wa for watching and check out our other tutorials under Rethink the Net online.